Welcome to another edition of Living in Shelby Township. Today is a very special day because I'm here with Jenna here at Militello's Bakery. And Jenna, we're getting ready for Punchki Day mm -hmm. here at Militello's. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that day. Is it just nuts? Um, well, we start very early and we work all day until they're all done and made and baked. Wow. And I heard a statistic. How many do you make? Just for one punchki day? Um, one punchki day. Uh, we usually do a set of about two dozen, a couple thousand. Wow, that must be exhausting. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're up early, so what's the process? We're actually gonna learn how to make a punchki. So right. what's the process? Um, well, first we lay them out on screens and put them in the proof box to rise. Okay. Once they've risen, we bring them over to the fryer. We, boil, we uh, fry them. Once they cool off a little bit, we bring them over to the filling stations and we fill them with jellies, custards, all and sorts of flavors. Sell them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what makes a punchki so special? I mean, it's such a big day for um, Metro Detroit, <laughs> and I feel like it's not that way around the rest of the world. <laughs> I guess it's just a really, it's a treat. It's not complicated, but it's a, it's a special mix. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a good dough, and then we, and then we have tons of many different flavors, each to. You know, fill in. Yeah, and, and what I love about Punchki Day is it's it's such a tradition here in Metro Detroit, and so is Militello's Bakery. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just telling you, my grandmother used to come here every day to get the Italian cookies, and Militello's is such a staple here in Shelby oh, Township. Yeah. yeah. So it's special to be here. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's learn how to make them. Okay. A minute each side. Okay. So Jenna, you were telling me that there's something about the dough that makes punchkis so much better. Why you don't want to go to right. a grocery store to, to pick these up. Well, they have um, they have more, um, we use eggs, but we just use yolks. Mm -hmm. And we use butter, melted butter, and there's um, dry milk in there. Yeah. Just more ingredients to make a more rich yeah. dough. Since I already fried one, the oil's better. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, it smells good over here. It smells like fried dough, which is yeah. amazing. I like that you have, you, it's just the whole wrap. I always thought you had to throw them in hand by hand by hand by hand. Right. I mean, this is quick. Yeah, it goes quick. Okay, ready to flip. Can I try flipping one? Yeah. <gasps> Gosh, okay. My first ever punchki flip. Oh, oh, you make it look so much easier. Good. Good. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Okay, I'm gonna try to be like a baker. Go quick, right? Yeah, do them all. <sighs> Just watch out for, oh, oh. you don't have to. <laughs> don't, don't. I don't have to be so fast? Right. Be a little slower? Don't okay, get, good. Right. Don't Cause that was nerve wracking. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if I'm going so. <laughs> It's harder than you think because you just don't, you don't want to poke them. Now, have you ever burned yourself on one yes. of these? You have. Just I can't once. get the corner. I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> She's more advanced. I keep getting stuck. <laughs> okay, so now that we've fried them up, now we've let them cool for, you know, a minute mm -hmm. or so, mm -hmm. now what happens? Um, boy, we're gonna fill them. <gasps> Now, what is this little contraption called? Uh, it's a donut hopper. Okay. So I learned a little tidbit for the viewers that Militello's is the original cannoli filled punch key. And it's called a punchatello. 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 Yep. The original. We're like, we're here in the birthplace of the cannoli filled punch key. So if you want to get the real deal, you got to come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they said that they filled those usually by hand. Punchki day is a little crazy, so they might need to do a hopper if it gets a little nuts, but mm -hmm. that's my favorite, so I'm all in. I'll be here 6 a.m. on Punchki day for a Punchatello. All right, now it's time to fill. Mm -hmm, we told the gonna... viewers about those Punchatellos, but here's, we're at the original birthplace. <laughs> we're gonna start with custard. Okay. You just gotta push them in, not too, not too yeah. deep, but you know, center. And just click the button. And fill 
Malheureusement. That's it? Mm -hmm. You make it look so easy. Not too full. You can probably feel that how wow. heavy it is. Oh yeah, that's not too full at all. Just wow. Too much. Can I try one? Yeah. Have a raspberry okay. or a custard. Oh, I want to fill. Can I try filling one? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Oh, it's happening. Let's see. Okay, so I just pierce it. Mm-hmm. And push the button. Yep. Yep. Maybe one more. There we go. Oh. Oh, this is a good Andrew. This is for you. I'll bring these to Shelby TV. <laughs> They're yeah. gonna be like, these ones stink. I try to keep up with what these young people is is doing and knowing. I was at work and I was I just got a text from a number that I didn't know. I sent him a text. He texts me back and say, "Who this?" <laughs> and I just thought that was the funniest thing. The next few weeks, you just made fun of me, like would answer the door and say, "Who this?" Who this? Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at AmericaLet'sDoLunch.org. America, America, let's do, do lunch. lunch. Are you interested in taking care of a reptile or amphibian at home, but not sure how to take care of them? Why not adopt one at our Burgess Shedbush Nature Center? One-year adoptions are $25 for a small animal and $50 for a large animal. You'll get an adoption certificate, and the adoption fee will help cover vet care and expenses for your animal. You're encouraged to come in regularly to take care of your animal. For more information, you can call the Burgess Shedbush Nature Center at 586-323. 2478 or contact them at nature center at shelbytwp.org. You can visit the nature center yourself at 4101 Riverbends Drive off of the Ryan Road entrance of Riverbends Park. Do you ever wonder what animals do in the winter? Well, you can take a hike at the Burgess Shadbush Nature Center. Let's go over with Tyler Smith for a snowy walk in the woods. hike is kind of our way to get out and about um, during the winter and show people, you know, tracks and signs of animals that are still around. So most of the time when people think of Michigan winter, they think it's very dead outside and, you know, nothing going on, where in reality, you know, it's a, there's tons of stuff going on and people just don't know how to look for it. So we kind of walk around our trails and show people what to look for to know that wildlife is still around. We do this every year, usually about this time. So February is kind of a great time. Um, it's kind of the dead smack middle of winter. Winter's getting really rough. People are starting to get really antsy about being indoors all the time. You know, we've had a lot of snow days that we don't always know what to do with or how to enjoy. So sometimes it's nice to be able to get out and do this kind of stuff and see how to look for it so that it gives you an idea on what you can do with some of your free time in the winter besides just staying inside. If the weather's bad on a day of this event, it depends on how bad the weather is, because it's winter, so the weather's kind of bad regardless. If it's really bad, we'll reschedule, especially if we've got people registered for it already. We would contact them via phone, so if, when you register for any of our programs, you have to give us your uh, contact information, and if the program were to be canceled, we would contact them and put it on our Facebook page also, but usually we try and call everybody who's registered and let them know. If we don't have anyone registered for it and the weather were bad, we'd probably just cancel outright. Having all of this space, even though our trail loop, the trail loop that we use for this, for this walk is only a quarter mile, but you know, having so much room and so much wildlife to use this room, um, we tend to see a fair amount of congregation of wildlife that wouldn't be here otherwise. So, you know, we see, just today we saw tracks for three different age groups of deer and raccoons and different birds and we had people pins and we had all sorts of good stuff that we were looking at. So, um, it really kind of showcases what can still be in Shelby Township. 
This event is $3 per person. You could find it on our Facebook page. Uh, we do have online registration for the event where you can go through our Facebook page. There's a little sign up button on our Facebook page. It takes you right to our online registration process. Um, if you haven't registered before, you will have to call us in order to put your name in our system first. But um, otherwise, you know, you can always just call us or come in also and register that way and we're happy to do it that way. But um, the registration, it's not required, but it really does help us kind of estimate how many people are going to be here so that we can have enough materials to do this for everybody. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest! You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. The Shelby Township Library has a new way that you can check out books, schedule events on a calendar, and just and it's all on your phone. Let's chat with the library director, Katie Esther. With technology advancing every day, the Shelby Township Library takes a leap into the 21st century with their brand new Suburban Library Cooperative app. So a common question that we get here at the library is, hey, do you guys have an app? And um, as of this month, we can say affirmatively, yes, we do have an app, and it works really well. Um, available in the Google Play Store for Android or the Apple Store for um, Apple, where you can download it. It's called SLC Libraries Mobile. And um, SLC is our consortium of 21 libraries in Macomb County and Troy and Harper Woods. Um, and all these libraries came together to pay for this app. It, integrate seamlessly with our system and our calendars even. So not only can you um, search for materials here or at any of the participating libraries, um, you can put them on hold or if they're checked out to you, you can renew them. Um, you can check your due dates. Um, you can put yourself on the reserve list so when the newest movie comes in that you're looking for, you can be notified and we'll hold it for you. Um, you can also do things like you can seamlessly check out ebooks and e audiobooks just by pressing one button. So you can search for an ebook, say the, the current copy of the book that you're looking for is checked out. You can see if a digital copy is in, so you can download it to your Kindle or your iPad or your tablet. It is totally free, like everything else at the library. But this is also integrated with our calendar. We upgraded our calendar last year so that when this did come out, it would uh, work together well. So that means that you can see all of our events, all of our classes, all of our story times, and you can register for any of those things using the app. Sort of one-stop shopping for all library activity. Um, and we're happy to show you how to use it. If you want to come in, we can help you download it and scan in your barcode and um, show you all the, um, everything that it can do for you, all, all the tasks that it can make a lot easier um, for our library users. It helps our library users navigate the library when they're not even in the library. The Shelby Township Library app has taken some time in testing and design, but it's finally ready to hit the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store.
About six months. We knew we were gonna do this about a year ago, but it took a while to get the um, contract with the company that, the third party company that um, developed it. And um, then they, we've been testing it. We've been in beta testing. We had people here at the library, employees, testing it back and forth. Um, and then finally, the last step was just getting it accepted by the Android and the Apple stores once we were happy with the finished version of it. So this is the result of many months of testing and hard work, and we're so proud of it. For living, I'm Andrew Shelsky. The township takes great pride in their hiking and biking trails, but sometimes you need to spruce a few things up. So we talked to the director, Joe Youngblood, to see about those improvements they're making to the bridges and the trails. You're in for a bumpy ride. But have you ever heard someone say, you're in for a bumpy bridge? There's a trail in the northwest section of Shelby Township, uh, we call it the, uh, actually the Stony to Metro Trail, um, how it originally started. And this was the last piece, um, and it's not fully connected yet. But on the north side of 25 Mile Road, um, just east of De Quinder, there's a trail that leads right into Stony Creek. So we get a lot of use from the northwest section uh, for this trail. There were seven bridges that were built 20-some uh, years ago. And uh, three of the bridges have heaved so much due to the winter uh, in Michigan, how tough it can be. So they've heaved to come to the point where uh, basically we had to fix them or shut the uh, trail down. Uh, pretty soon here. So with uh, the support of the Township Board, uh, we have the funding and now we are very excited to announce uh, we are moving forward with the replacement of the wood bridges. You won't have to wait for warmer weather to utilize these new paths. Crews should be out very soon. They're going to start working in the next few weeks and we plan to have it done uh, by the first couple of weeks uh, of March um, is the timeline to have this finished. If you can't have a bridge, what exactly would you replace it with? Well, uh, the, the engineers with uh, FazelCon's office and, and working with uh, uh, some other engineers and getting other people's input, they've come to the conclusion it's very wet up there and when you have these stanchions into the ground, they can easily uh, heave, which they have done. So is what we're doing now is removing all the wood bridges with the posts, so that's going to be completely gone. There'll be culverts in there. They'll put some fill in over the top so you still have drainage for the wetlands area, which is all approved by the DEQ. And it will be asphalted right over the top. So we're gonna have a seamless, uh, smooth trail, no wood bridges uh, replaced. So it's just gonna look like asphalt trail leading into the existing bridges right now. So we're excited about it. And I think all the residents up there are gonna love it. Now, there won't be any bumps in the road for Shelby Township residents. For living in Shelby Township, I'm Andrew Shelsky. Okay, so we've got the original cannoli filled punchatello. Mm -hmm. The originals, we're gonna try them. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Now, how many of these do you eat a year? Not that many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all, oh, they're the perfect weight. These are perfectly filled. She did good. You ready? Yep. Cheers. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. You definitely eat a lot cleaner <laughs> than I do, but. It was good. Everyone, come to Militello's Bakery on Punchki Day. Come every day for cakes, donuts, cookies, punchkies, all the works. It's worth it. Thanks for watching Living in Shelby Township.